Well, Bill, the local transit union and GRTC appear to be going back and forth over coronavirus response. The union says they have a list of demands. GRTC says many of those have already been met. One GRTC rider says his bus didn't show on time Monday morning. Another saying she didn't even notice a change. How y'all doing? After half of GRTC's operators didn't show to work Monday. The mass call in meant limiting most routes except the Pulse to one bus per hour. When reached by phone, the president of the local transit union declined to comment to CBS 6. But in a letter sent to GRTC last week, the union laid out a list of 10 demands, including hazard pay, PPE access, and entry exit changes. The union writing that their members are at greater risk now, getting essential personnel to work. Our CEO has already said that she wants to retroactively provide hazard pay for our frontline staff once we get through this. But that's the key. We don't know how long that timeline is right now. GRTC officials estimate the cost of hazard pay so far would be $3 million, an expense that requires board approval. The company says many of the demands, like masks for drivers and fare suspensions, were put in place weeks ago. We're all sensitive to the reality of of the emergency, of the virus, of the crisis, uh, from a healthcare standpoint and, of course, from a financial standpoint. Monday, GRTC says they received double the call volume from customers compared to recent weeks where there's been reduced service. The company has been planning their response to driver shortages, whether a call in or the virus caused it. A GRTC driver who did not take part in the call in tells CBS 6 many riders aren't taking restrictions seriously. The driver says bus operators are essential workers too. They need riders to stay home unless it's absolutely necessary. How long the situation lasts is unclear. The CEO of GRTC sent a letter to the union this afternoon saying any driver that does not return to work by Tuesday or their next shift could be fired. Again, union representatives could not be reached for comment. So far, only one GRTC employee has tested positive for the virus, and that person, we're told, has recovered. Working for you in Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.